I'm Command Sergeant Major Robert Christensen. I'm the Command Sergeant Major of the 1st Combat Aviation Brigade of the 1st Infantry Division, and I am a Big Red One soldier. Like a lot of, of young men transitioning into adulthood, I wasn't quite certain what I wanted to be or what I wanted to do. I, I had a lot of great mentors and leaders at that time, whether it was from school or my own parents, people that I looked up to. So I was kind of advised that the Army could do that for me. The leaders that I had that, from my youth that inspired me and some of the characteristics of Trace they had were that they demonstrated a sense of sacrifice and selfless service. They always seemed to demonstrate that they had care and compassion for the needs of the others. And that really resonated with me and continues to resonate with me today. The ISO Corps has shaped me by giving me a sense of purpose. It really has helped me understand who I am and what I'm capable of achieving. It also has inspired me to demonstrate what I can do for others. The NCO Creed is the foundation of being a non-commissioned officer. It's the hallmark of what we are and what we do. And if we're ever in doubt, it's a great reference for us to sit there and remind ourselves what we are and what we're supposed to do so we can always make sure that we make the right ethical, legal, and moral decision uh, with whatever we're faced with. I've always valued opportunities to challenge myself, put myself into uncomfortable positions, and see what I was really all about. Could I achieve hard things? I always wanted to go to Ranger School, but it was never really an option as an aviation soldier. But then one day, when I was a Master Sergeant, I happened to be uh, in the right place at the right time, and I was ready to fight tonight, and the opportunity came up where there was a slot that somebody could go to Ranger School, and I had rapidly seized that and said I would represent the organization and go forth and, and showcase what we were able to do as a team and be that, that soldier. Going to Ranger School was uh, as a 39-year-old master sergeant, it was a little bit different. I definitely was a little bit older than my peer group around me, but I was really inspired by the, the professionalism and the excellence of the young men and women who are joining the military today who are seeking opportunities to challenge themselves to that degree as well and expert their craft and demonstrate the leadership qualities and the expertise that's necessary to be a, a member of, of uh, a group that wears that Ranger tab. The six NCO Corps competencies are so important to the Army because it's how we shape our, our non-commissioned officers to become the, the well-rounded holistic leaders that we need to be able to operate in any type of conditions with any type of resources and still achieve that mission successfully while taking care of their people. It's the ability for one to translate mission intent into action, which is what NCOs are expected to do. We take a, take a mission and we make it our own and we understand what is supposed to happen and then using the, the skills that we've been trained in, being able to lead the people that are around us to successfully accomplish that goal, while developing them to become the future leaders of the Army is, is one of the most important things that we have. And the core competency of leadership tells us as non-commissioned officers that we need to execute the mission and develop that next generation of soldiers. One of the most important things we do as non-commissioned officers is always continue to challenge ourselves, especially the things that we're asking our soldiers to do. The Army's going to continue to modernize and adapt, and non-commissioned officers uh, to stay relevant need to adapt with it. And some of that means putting ourselves outside of our comfort zone, putting ourselves into positions where we're also uncomfortable and we have to mature and gain the skills that we expect our junior soldiers to gain.